talk about what oil you should use in your car. Now I've been working on cars for the last 50 years. Things have changed both in terms of oil and the engines they go in. So I'll give you the skinny on what you need to know. Now check your oil cap. Even though this car is 24 years old, it says on the cap use 10W30 oil. But of course there's millions of different kinds of oils out there. So which one are you going to use? Now in my case, I just use conventional 1030 Castrol oil. I like Castrol, and since I don't drive much, I change it once a year because it does wear out. As you can see, I'm charging up the battery. Last year I only put 600 miles on the car. So if I was going to use a synthetic oil in this, one it would be a waste of money because you still got to change it once a year, and two, I've talked to engineers and they tell me it's impossible, but I've seen it too many times. Guys will get an old car like this that has 240,000 miles, they'll put in synthetic oil, then it will either leak more oil or burn more oil. So I'm not switching an old car from using conventional oil that's high mileage to using synthetic oil. I just wouldn't do it because I've seen problems occur then. Now let's go to a more modern car. This Toyota Matrix has a cap that says use energy conserving 5W30 oil. Now here you have a choice. You can use either regular oil and change it say every 5,000 miles or you can use full synthetic oil and you can push it up to 8 or 10,000 miles then. Now this used to be my wife's car and she drove it to school. So she put about 5,000 miles a year on it. So I just used normal oil and it changed every 5,000 miles. But if you have a car like this and you drive a lot more mileage, you could use synthetic oil and change it a lot less often. Then you'd get to decide what synthetic oil to use. Well, my theory with that is go for the one that's the lowest price. When I went to AutoZone, the mobile one was like 10 bucks a quart, but this STP full synthetic one was only five dollars a quart so I'd use the SDP what the heck now in many really modern cars they use a zero W20 oil now that you have to use a synthetic oil because it's only available in synthetic oil so my advice for that is hey go price around find the one that has the best price and use that one because you have to realize, at least here in the United States, the government has all kinds of regulations on motor oils these days, so any that are sold are perfectly fine. There aren't any crappy ones that are be able to sold to the public in the United States. Now lately a lot of people have been asking me about this Mobile One annual protection oil that can go 20,000 miles in one year. Well here's the truth about that. First you have to go down and read the caveats, and one of the caveats is... 20,000 miles or one year, but please follow the recommendations in your owner's manual because it may void your warranty if you go more than the mileage they suggest. And truth be told, you can only do 20,000 mile oil changes if you do mainly highway driving. You really can't do that in stop and go city driving. Those big truckers, they don't change their oils that often, but the trucks are going 65 miles an hour for hours and hours on edge, and there's not much wear in an engine when you're going at a steady speed on a highway. So me, if I'm going to use synthetic oil, I'm going to find the one with the best price, change it every 7 to 10,000 miles. So now you know what you need to know about motor oils. Buy the right one at the right price, don't waste your money, but don't ruin your engine. And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.